today, I have a really unique smartphone to look at. The Blackwheel BV9900 Pro. What makes it unique? Well, it has the similar rugged construction as other phones you receive me review. But it also has something special, a thermal camera. Everyone remembers the thermal camera I reviewed last month for fewer screening, right? Okay, that's 99 Fahrenheit. That's a bit of a fever that's somebody you definitely want to check out. So aside from fever screening, what are thermal cameras good for? Well, you can use them to save on heating and air conditioning bills by spotting leaks or outdoors to find lost pets or hiding kids, look for intruders, troubleshoot electronics, and lots of other things. Cell phones have a pretty good sensor package already built in and a thermal cam adds to that. But we won't know how much it adds until we take it out of the box and have a look. Okay, they have the adapter, they have earphone, USB cable. And it has the screen protector. This is our phone. I wonder if they have put the protective sticker on. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, we can unlock it with fingerprint too. It's on the uh, side here, so I'm going to enroll my fingerprints now. Fingerprint edit is pretty quick, this fingerprint. Alright, let's take a look at their uh, interface. Allow my flirt to access photos, media, and files on your device. Okay. So now they're op it's opening. See, this is the fur camera. They have you can see my hands. Okay, now I'm filming with the fur camera. You can see that is my window, the bright orange because it's hot outside. And on the other hand, the air conditioner is dark because, of course, it's blowing air, it's cool, so it is dark. Those are my tools, my plastic bin, and my studio light. My studio light is also very, uh, how do I say this, super orange. It's because it's uh, sending off heat compared to the AC, you can tell. Okay, now I have the Unity Thermal Scanner uh, side by side with the black wheel. You can see the readings on that. It should be pretty close. Uh, I don't know if the black wheel can do fewer screening. I have to do some more tests. But uh, if I use this properly, it's closer to reading. It's 97.8, so it's pretty close. 97.8. Yeah, you see, you see on the screen is 97.8, right? So it's pretty close. The result. Okay, this one is 99.1. This one is 98. 
Okay, let's use the furrow camera to take a look at it. Okay, this one says 102.7 and this one is 99.8. Okay, it does not do so well with the absolute number, but if I am going to uh, scan a bunch of people, it can tell the it can definitely tell the difference between these two temperature. So relatively, it can show you the temperature difference, but it cannot tell you the exact number. So you have to calibrate it. Okay, here's my thoughts. The camera and video quality are excellent, but I saw some difficulties with the autofocus getting a lot. I hope there's a firmware update coming to address that. It's waterproof, which really is mandatory in my opinion. We all need to be cleaning our phones. But the edges and corners are metal. So even though it's shock protected and will survive a fall onto concrete, it's going to get scratched. For a rocket phone, I really like to see rubber bumpers on all corners. The floor camera worked a lot better than I expected and it has a ton of features. The way the app is configured is clearly designed for engineering work and I've already used it for troubleshooting several different things. It's very handy. But the real killer app would be fever screening like my unit T. If a teacher could sweep a classroom or a nurse, a hospital waiting room, even a birthday party full of kids, see if anyone is running a high temperature, that would sell tons of this. Black wheel or someone should definitely make a fewer screening app with a high temperature alarm. The phone also has a barometer and a humidity sensor. A little unusual and potentially useful depending on what your work or hobbies are. It has a 5.84 inch screen, not as large as some rocket phones, but definitely a bit more pocketable. Overall, I think this is as much a technical tool as it is a phone. And 
I'm comfortable recommending it over a standard phone if those technical features are important to you. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, YouTube often doesn't notify my subscribers, so please check my channel a few times a month to see if you missed anything. Sponsorship is great, but really, the best thing you can do for me is to post my links and tell your friends. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.